This video is to show you how to use the Flactex speed mixer. What this does is kind of uh, spins around these little containers really, really fast on an eccentric uh, path. So essentially it's rotating, but it's not a perfect circle. Um, and we're gonna use it today to mix uh, polycaprolactone and some other uh, powder, like could be a drug, could be, uh, in this case we're using barium sulfate as a radiopaque agent. So if we make a device and put it inside an animal or if, like uh, a medical device or something like this, you can create composites really, really quickly with a low melting point thermal plastic and any other component that might mix with it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cup that's uh, pretty small and wide, and we're gonna weigh about 15 grams of each of these components into the cup. Okay. So we got 15 and a half. And this is barium sulfate, it's a high atomic number, so it absorbs a lot of x-rays. 15.6. Also, this is the lazy man's way of weighing stuff out. Just rotate the container. As long as it doesn't come in big chunks. Okay. Then just screw on the top, give it a shake, and come over here. And uh, the program we're going to run is program two, which is the max RPM for about one minute. Um, there's a little holder in here. There's two different holders that come with it. This one fits this cup, and if there's other cups in these drawers here, um, you'll find the other holder down there. The cup, the holder also has three slots in it, so you want to make sure that it locks into place in this metal ring on top. And then just slide the cup in there, close the lid, and you'll see a start button. And you'll hear the pellets rattling around. As they rattle inside the cup, they're creating a lot of friction and a lot of heat. And the heat will then melt the polymer and then blend it with the powder. Take a look at this graph here. This is showing you the RPM that it's set for. And the green is showing you the torque of the motor. So initially, it takes a lot of torque to spin. It gets up to speed, starts to come down. As the polymer stops making friction, melts and essentially forms a little puddle on the bottom of the cup, the torque will go down even more. It's no longer a banging around it. Right? So that's the point at which it's essentially forming a, a fluid of some sort, a very viscous fluid. we got five seconds. At this point, the fluid could actually be still moving and mixing inside the cup. Uh, we can also mix dyes as well as like a PDMS with a, a catalyst. So it makes just mixing stuff homogeneously a lot easier. After that, you'll hear a click and the lid will come undone and you'll see it's a magic trick. All that has pellets and, and powder is, is fused into like one homogeneous solid. Um, at this point, it's, it's still pretty warm. You can feel the bottom of the cup. There's a lot of heat. Um, so ideally what we would do is, uh, is cool it off until it's kind of a workable temperature, which would be like 70 to 80 C. Um, and at that point, then you would take sort of like a metal rod like this and sort of begin to gather inside the cup like a dough. And this is uh, the polycaprolactone that we're using is a 37,000 molecular weight. Um, if you go higher than that, it takes longer to melt and also longer to solidify. So it gives you a little more working time. Um, this molecular weight is nice in that it really sticks to itself so it doesn't really stick to the sides of the cup. You can see as it cools off. If you go to lower molecular weights, like 14,000, um, you'll start to see a lot higher crystallinity in the polycaprolactone and it will be a very brittle uh, material and also therefore like it sticks really well to a lot of surfaces and is a much harder to, to come off 
so at some point you you can see like that was the hottest part of the mixture so it's still uh, stuck on the bottom of the cup but after you can kind of clean it off you can just kind of work work it with your hands and uh, in this case we would sort of form it into a shape that we want to work with um, we'll chop it up into little pellets to use it in other processing techniques um, you can see, for example, we have like a benchtop injection molder, which you can inject it into different molds, um, centrifuge casting, uh, all compression molds, all kinds of stuff. So right now it's really workable like a clay. Um, eventually it'll, it'll firm up quite a bit. Um, so it's a good chance to, if you were going to actually like make stuff with it, to make it uh, at this stage when the whole thing is uh, equally pliable. And it'll stay like this for about uh, three minutes or so. So you don't get too much time to work with it, but if you used a different um, molecular weight, then you could. So that's, uh, that's the speed mixer.